If you want to use CAF base custom room, then you can try out project 404. It is actually quite old room and I think so if you want to install this thing, you don't need to have any specific extra requirements. If your device supports this custom room, go for it. This one is project 404 and as I just said that it is quite old but quite old doesn't mean that it's actually old Android version. It's Android 13 of course. Quite old means it will, it was existed with Android 9, 8 maybe. I'm not sure but yes it's a bit old because I had tried that time too. We have project 404 if you talk about the default launcher settings. It is CAF based and it is actually not having the pixel kind of things. It's having this 404 launcher which is having the icon pack support. We have at a glance widget. Of course you can enable or disable this thing which is a very good thing because in pixel launcher you can't disable at a glance by default. And if we move on to some general customizations, double tap to sleep also exists. Google search bar is optional so if you need that in your bottom dock you can enable this thing or you can simply skip this thing it also includes the taskbar option so if you are one of the users who want to use taskbar you can if we move on to quick settings panel you'll be able to notice we have dark quick settings panel background even if you use a light mode so yes of course from my opinion i just don't like it but that doesn't matter of course if you move on to the settings options one thing is different if you compare it with some other custom rooms. The left side settings icons are actually themed and you can see these are customized. These are not by default and I think so these are monet supported. I'm not sure but these are. Notifications also having the option for heads up notification replacement. I mean you have the retigger option available which is a very good replacement of heads up notifications with slim and less invasive version. You can use this thing if you want to. Of course all these things are optional. If you don't want to use you can skip these things. Another thing is if you move on to the battery stats. Unlike Pixel which is having the option for to see the battery user from the last 24 hours, it will show the battery user from last full charge which is a better thing and if you move on to some customization things or basic things, you can customize the status bar battery indicator if you want to, if you want to use a text indicator or anything else you can. Vibration and haptics also having advanced features, it is just not having the option to turn on or turn off the switch. You also have the option to customize the intensity of those haptic feedbacks. So if you need less intensity or higher intensity or no intensity at all, you have the option to do this. This is a very useful thing. Some customers are actually having this feature, but not all. So if your customer is not having, you can try out this one. It also includes all the useful and necessary things like it also have the option for face unlock. So if you need these things, you can if you use face unlock on your devices, then you want to use face unlock. You can use this thing in project 404 if you want to. It's totally up to you. I sometimes don't use it, so I will skip this thing. Status bar also having some useful features like icon manager have all the status bar icons. If you need one of those icons to enable or disable, you can. Heads up, headset icon is there to enable. By default, this is not enabled. Network speed indicator is also included, although I'm using unofficial version, which is not working in my case, as you can see. But maybe if you use any other version or your device is having this feature working, go for it. Gestures also have the swipe to screenshot, which is of course quite useful. Quickly open camera, which I always disable. System navigation is having all the useful things, gesture, two button, etc. And this is the option hide IME button space which shall exist in every custom room to be honest but yes it's there in one in this one double tap to check phone if you use double tap to wake you can playback control is also existed so these are the things which are available in this version last but not the least game space also exists i mean the normal gaming dashboard which you have in pixel it's not like that it's like from like evolution x OS is also having this game space and i mean almost every custom room is having this game space right now so yes this option is present and other than else all the things which i just want to let you know i have already shared with you this is unofficial version which i am using on a redmi note 10 pro i think so and if you want to use this thing on your device you can the unofficial version for redmi note 10 pro is available in the description or if you want this for your device i will try to check it but these are things i just want to let you know i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye